Hello everyone. We, Group 13, in order to present the application of some of the key information management concepts, take privilege to explain them using Zomato as an example. Zomato, is a restaurant search and discovery service, which was founded in India in 2008. Currently, it is operating in 23 countries. Zomato, apart from featuring restaurant information, also provides a platform for the restaurants to advertise themselves. It also provides services like online ordering and table reservations. This picture depicts the global presence of Zomato. Now let's have a look on the industry analysis of Zomato. 1. The threat from potential entrants. For Zomato, it is less, due to a loyal customer base which forms a rich network of foodies. 2. The threat of substitutes. Zomato services have very limited number of substitutes. So this threat is moderate. 3. The bargaining power of suppliers, it is very low. The suppliers are firstly the tech service providers, and then the restaurants which share their data for free with Zomato. As there is too much competition amongst the suppliers, they don't possess much bargaining power. 4. The bargaining power of buyers, it's also low. If buyers want the best possible service they have to use Zomato. 5. The rivalry amongst existing competitors, once it was challenging for a Zomato. Now the scenario has changed. Some of them have even exited the industry. So it's also low. One of the key information management concept, which has been very valuable for Zomato in its growth, is mobility. Since inception itself, Zomato was launched as a website. And to capture the ever-expanding market of smartphone users, it released an app a few years back. One of the latest developments in the app aspect of Zomato, is the launching of Zomato Wide Label. Zomato Wide Label, a platform that enables restaurants to launch custom branded native mobile apps, and bridge the gap between them and their customers. Highlights of this service have been depicted in the picture. For customers, this allows for one-on-one -on -one interactions with their favorite restaurants, access to exclusive events and offers, and loyalty programs, without having to navigate to them on the main Zomato app. Zomato has focused on the niche market to be competitive on restaurant searching engine compared with all the other broad searching engines such as Google. Another key concept which is described here, is location-based social networking, which is an extension of mobile social networking, whereby, the geographical location of the user, becomes an integral component of the service, enabling efficient access to context-dependent services. It is apparent that Zomato has a variety of social features, among which the most popular is called City Feed, which showcases user reviews and photos geographically, so that you can know what's popular at that moment in the specific place. Zomato, as an O2O services company, has also recently unbundled its online ordering services, and plans to launch new platforms, like Zomato Base, Table Reservations, Wider Label. Besides integration with existing restaurant partners on cashless payment, it will integrate with Next Table on reservation services. Such implementations require large business integration. Business integration refers to the ability to gather and make sense of information about business. Zomato encompasses a set of techniques, processes, and technologies designed to enable gaining superior insight and understanding of its restaurant searching business. One of the further strategic initiative is Zomato's expansion with Zomato Base which originated from an acquisition of Maple Paws a cloud computing company. Such acquisition has added value to Zomato's cloud computing capability, Base becomes a more developed loud base point of sale product for restaurants, which offers features such as recipe management, real-time analytics, and electronic receipts. Here comes our third concept, 
Cloud computing, which refers to the ability to obtain and use computing functionality, for example, storage, software, over the Internet. However, certain risks have to be defined. Security on privacy can be an issue which requires information managers' attention, because a large sharing and flow of merchants' information regarding transactions. However, even though Zomato is a very successful company in the public eye, there are still some flaws in its current information system. At the beginning of 2015, Zomato introduced cashless payments. With this feature, consumers can go to a partner restaurant and check in with the Zomato app. Then, one has to inform the staff at the restaurant of the mode of payment. Each user has a unique identity, and the restaurant connects that to the bill. The payment method integrates with the billing system of the restaurant, so the diners can order food as they normally would, and the billing happens automatically in the background. After its launch, cashless payment brought a great user experience, and everyone who used it, was delighted with the product, and the convenience of not waiting around for the bill. It also helped in avoiding situations of wrong counting of money. However, they now plan to shut down this business. CEO of Zomato said that, it wasn't financially viable for them to keep the business running, as the operational costs of running it exceeded the commissions the product was generating. Using cashless wasn't a part of the natural user flow for a typical Zomato user. They had to lure the user to think differently, this was the most difficult part. In cashless product, Zomato needed the customer to think about the payment at a restaurant before the start of the meal, whereas normally, it was done at the end of the meal. Plus, users were the avid early adopters of technology products. This product was turning out to be very hard to scale beyond that. When deciding the success of these products, Zomato needs to always look beyond the early adopters. The cost of educating restaurant staff on cashless and installing equipment in all the restaurants was too high, and it always takes continuous maintenance. So what's the future of their cashless payment? In the context of four components of information system, there are some things to be kept in mind. Firstly, Zomato should arrange clear and specific roles to manage and operate cashless products. Secondly, all the stakeholders should be taken into account when designing system. In the future, the operation of cashless payment should be made as easy as possible for both server and customer. Thirdly, technology used should be improved to support information system. Customer can check menu and make order through mobile and bill should be paid automatically. Customers even shouldn't consider the payment method and Sever just needs to confirm the payment. Lastly, from process part, the process to deploy the information system is also very critical. In order to avoid high customer acquisition cost, Zomato can first try to launch it from a big city where people have high technology knowledge and acceptability. In the light of previously discussed points, we believe that Zomato will expand more and have a breakthrough in the near future. Thank you for being with us.